Hey guys, if your phone's stuck at transferring information from one to another, so in this case it was this one to this one, don't worry about it. All you have to do is this just says time remaining, doesn't move from there really, even after hours. So the fix for that is to hold on to your power key, which is your Siri key, plus your volume key, which is the top one. Just hold on to those. You're gonna turn this off. And sadly, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Now, usually I would just tell you to do that with this one, but uh, we have to do that with the old one too. Then go ahead and turn them on. This time we're just gonna hold on to the power key to turn it on. Same thing goes with this one. So you just hold on to the power key. So you see that Apple logo. Same thing goes with the old one. And then you're just gonna continue on with the setup. So on your old phone, there you go. You should see everything like that. So on your new one, you should see this hello thing. Swipe up, putting the passcode that you had before, it's gonna say reconnecting. You will see again, set up new iPhone, going to continue on. And we just have to rescan things. So here we go. So right now it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID, go ahead and type that in. All right, so this would be the normal thing that you should see when transferring information from one phone to the other. It's not supposed to be stuck there without telling you a reminding time or something. It's supposed to tell you exactly how much it's gonna take. You're gonna have to see that bar and then just let it be. Right now, you can just let the phones and then come back to them later on. All right, so after just a little bit, if you just left your phone there, you should see something like this on your old phone. So it will tell you transfer complete. And on your new phone, you should see your background. So this was my background that was from there before. Everything should be there. I'm gonna swipe up. It's gonna swipe up and everything should be here. It might ask you for passwords for, for example, your emails, but that's about it. Other than that, everything else should be here. If you go to your pictures, videos, everything should be there as well. So I'm just gonna double check and yeah, all my pictures are there and we're all good to go. Anyways, that's how you guys can transfer all your information from one iPhone, that's my old iPhone, to the new one. And no, right now your old one Always, people always ask me this. What happens to your old iPhone once you are done transferring everything? Well, all you have to do is just click on OK. And then from here, it's going to tell you that you want to erase this phone. You don't have to do it now. You can do it later. But once you transfer your information over, you don't have to erase. You can keep both with the same information. Or you can just erase this one. So that way, you can go on and just keep using it or erase it later. So let's say I accidentally said, not now, let's not erase everything from here later. Well, I'm gonna have the exact same apps right here from this one on this one. So you guys will see that everything is the same thing on my old one and on my new one. And when I'm ready to erase everything from my old one, I can manually go in here. I'm gonna get that message to erase this phone, but I can do this if you guys didn't see that into transfer reset and from reset I can go into erase all content so usually I do that once I verify that in fact everything's here which it is already but again you do not have to so you can close this up and keep using your two phones at this point but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget subscribe and like thank you